how to set up a fair policy in oracle fusion expenses cloud under oracle fusion cloud release 13 and version 2020 which is presently the latest so here i want to first highlight a business scenario for setting up a fair policy and then i will give the solution to that business scenario in the form of setups within oracle fusion expenses cloud all right so let's go through the business scenario first so as you could see the business scenario states that the company's business is not doing well in view of the coronavirus pandemic and in order to control employees expenses they would like to introduce the below given new airfare policy which includes anyone holding the job of vice president is allowed to fly business class for flights eight hours and above so only vice presidents are eligible to fly only in business class for flights which are eight hours and above and this includes both domestic travel or international travel and rest of all the employees must fly economy class so the basic idea is saving or expense savings in terms of airfare now i've just given a rough business scenario to let you understand it may not be a realistic example or maybe much more conditions you can potentially include for example uh, at certain job level one can fly first class certain levels business class and then you can include a range of hours say four hours to eight hours and so on but I, to make it simple i have uh, created this business scenario so that you can easily understand so in terms of its solution what we have to do is uh, we have to basically set up an airfare policy including setting up of airfare policy violations in oracle fusion cloud expenses and once we set up the airfare policy and violations we have to go ahead and create a flight class policy once we have these two together this happens in just one screen so various one different forms for one setup place and then we have got to activate the policy once we have activated the policy then we've got to assign that airfare policy to an expense type under expenses templates all right so i'm going to keep this business requirement in mind while setting up this airfare policy so now let's go and log in into oracle fusion cloud applications all right so here i have logged in into oracle fusion applications so what you have to do the first step is you've got to basically change the offering to financials and then navigate to the functional area of expenses like this okay and um, then you've got to look for policies but even before that i would uh, tell you that we are on release 13 and version 21 day of oracle fusion cloud applications okay so after you reach here the first step you have got to do is you have got to search a task called as manage policies by expense category and that's the place where we will define the airfare policy and policy violations and so on so i'm going to search so that's the first task over here so click on the hyperlink and then in order to um, create a new expense policy all you have to do is click on create policy but if you want to update an existing policy you feel free to choose the one that you wish to update from the ones which are defined below okay so I'm going to create a policy so click on this uh, list of values choose airfare and here I'm going to leave the policy name as default a fair and then 220131 so this is like a date time format and here i'm going to give something like a uh, air fair policy restricting for reducing expenses okay so once I have given the description, I'm going to go and under flight class determinant, 
there are several checkboxes one is flight type so basically that will tell the system what kind of a flight it is whether it's domestic or international then you've got flight duration so if you want to restrict your uh, policy via flight duration then you should check this so in our case the business scenario is eight hours and above if travel is made and if the job or grade is vice president then allow that otherwise rest of the employees should travel only by economy class and the previous one the like vice president should be able to travel by business class so once you have selected this make sure you select the role as well because that's where I'm going to choose job as the role to select vice president later in our policy rules and then here at the bottom you have policy enforcement um, so you've got several option buttons prevent report submission then you've got policy violation warning and display warning to the user so if there is a warning based on the rules that we define and based on the flight class determinants then give a warning that's what it tells that however if you would choose this option button and if there is a violation then the system is going to stop and wouldn't allow the user to submit it so let's leave it as it is uh, such that the system gives a warning to the user when any of the policy violation takes place while submission of the expense report so at this time I'm going to simply save and close and once I have saved it uh, I'm going to click on uh, the policy once again and here as you could see now the button has come create flight class policy so I'm going to click on this button and here uh, as you could see by default you've got all other employees included which is having a upper limit and uh, let's say include domestic and international flight class so I'm gonna say domestic as coach and international is coach for all the other employees and uh, for the role of vice president so you can either scroll down or simply type something like this so it's gonna give you the roles uh, or the jobs so I'm gonna select a job of vice president you've got to make sure that the set is same as the one while you're defining your business unit so I'm gonna choose a common set and hit the OK button for vice president and then flight duration in our case was eight hours and above so eight and above and and then I will uh, choose domestic as business and uh, and uh, you've got to remember or I would say what you know instead of eight hours a number I would say something like 24 hours so anything less than 24 hours um, is eligible for business class and uh, here also I'm going to choose international as business and uh, then you can also define one more so between eight hours and 24 hours if you want to define that clearly here because if you simply say 24 then that means that upper limit of 24 here I'm going to give 8 and business international also business okay so it means that vice president if he travels between 8 and 24 hours or you can change it to even more than that say 36 hours just to be on safe side and if the flight duration is between 8 and 36 hours then he or she will be eligible to travel a business class and all others like here over here will be eligible to travel by economy only okay once you have done that you simply save and close so here you define the flight class policy and you further define rules in flight class policy based on the determinants that you have given and these determinants uh, in terms of you know the, the domestic and international is coming from the flight type 
likewise the flight duration what we have given over here it got enabled from the determinant what we have checked over here flight duration and the role determinant got enabled by role as we have given role as a role type of job and hence the jobs of employees are shown over here okay so once you're done save and close and then you save and close so the task of defining an expense category and associated flight class policy and violations have been defined so the next step is to associate this to the expense template so look for expense templates so ne next one over here is manage expense report templates and expense report templates are defined by business unit so we are in us one business unit we would like to apply that uh, expense category and associated uh, policies to us one expense unit template so here you can see expense is us one is a template which is predefined associated with us one business unit if you want you can always define a new expense uh, report template if you like by using this uh, create button but i'm going to use the existing one and you make sure you choose the expense type as air over here And if it is not there, uh, as I said, you can always define a new expense type here as well. But since it is predefined, you al already have the airfare category selected in this report template. So I'm going to click on air. And then I would, in this case, I would look for a tab called as policies. And under policies, I'm going to choose the expense policy that we have defined. So click on plus icon and look for expense policy that we have defined. Okay, so look, expense policy that we have defined is not coming up. The reason being, we defined the expense policy, but we haven't activated it. So we'll need to go back. And it could be an interview question. Someone could ask you the same question that expense policy defined. Why is it not coming up in the expense template so the answer is maybe it's not activated as simple as that so I'm going to come out of this expense template form and then I'm going to look for manage policies by expense category form and I'm going to go and look for this you see this is what uh, we have and you see the status is valid but it's not active so I'll go ahead and activate this now so confirmation the policy is now active and ready for assignment to expense types for enforcement you click on ok now you see it is active now i'm going to click on done now come out of this form and then i will navigate to manage expense report templates and i've explained you the content of this uh, form already so i'm going to simply choose expense us1 which is associated with us1 business unit and then I will navigate to expense type of air and then I will go into policies and then click on expense policy and this time hopefully it will appear the one that we have defined can you see that it's appearing so you select the policy that we defined and you put the start date for enforcement purposes let's say this date I hit it save and close so next time the user submits the expenses for airfare this policy will be applicable to those users within US1 business unit for their expenses related to airfare. So going back to presentation now, so the business scenario that we discussed was the company's business is not doing well in view of coronavirus pandemic and in order to control employee expenses for airfare they would like to introduce below given new airfare policy. So the requirements for anyone holding the job of vice president is allowed to fly business class for flights eight hours and above and it could include both domestic travel and international travel all other employees must fly economy class so as you have seen in uh, flight class policies we have defined one line for vice president and given the hours as eight hours and 36 hours and eligible to fly domestic travel and international travel for business class and the first line the default one for all the remaining employees and we have selected them to fly with economy class and 
in terms of the solution this is the solution I have demonstrated you a little while ago in fusion cloud applications for Oracle fusion expenses